The UCLA Chicano Studies team worked with local schools and nonprofits to survey over 800 individuals between the ages of 18 through 34. Around 30 students from the region took part in collecting data. We are seeing, for instance, that a lot of students have high aspirations for educational attainment. That's super inspiring to us to see that a lot of students were asked um, what kinds of degrees they want to get, and a lot of them reported wanting to get a bachelor's degree, a master's degree in Lompoc and San Maria. Lompoc students talked about what changes they want to see that would help local youth. How we want the cannabis taxes to, instead of going the city, go to the city, it goes to youth organizations. So just so that the youth can have a better upbringing. We have been, we've looked into, we've done a little bit of research on ways that we could divert money into programs that would benefit the youth, such as, you know, things to do. The survey will be used to guide local institutions in providing education, employment, civic and health related programs. Feedbacks show similarities between Santa Maria and Lompoc youth. Santa Maria is a lot larger than Lompoc, but we do both struggle with kind of imbalances in educational um, educational requirements and stuff like that. So that's very important. And then too, again, like Santa Maria is a bigger place, but there's also still, it's hard to foster that community because Lompoc, we're a smaller town. So you know everyone and people are friends. Surveyed students hope younger students can have a better future in the Lompoc and Santa Maria Valley. A huge, huge goal that I want for future students is to have that learning experience and learning environment that I didn't get to have growing up. So the number one thing that I really want to talk about is the bond coming up in November 5th. Um, it just got passed to be in the ballot for November 5th, which is very, very great, exciting news. We've been working very hard to get it passed. Um, and this bond will help students get in the Lompoc School District to get over $200 million. And this hasn't been passed in the last 12 years. We're just happy that we're able to support them in their educational journey so they can learn what research is about, demystify the process, and in the process of demystifying it, hopefully getting really excited to learn what they can do. In Lompoc, I'm News Channel reporter Tony Almanza.